joining us for another Kickstarter connection. Today we are previewing the game Catapult Kingdoms. As always, we want to make sure you're aware that our Kickstarter connection videos are sponsored in part by our Kickstarter backers and by the creator of this game. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Leo Meadows. And today we are looking at the Kickstarter prototype of the game Catapult Kingdoms from Vesuvius Media. This is a dexterity game for two to four players. It's from designer Christian Frosch. It takes about 20 minutes to play. Vesuvius Media was kind enough to send us a prototype copy to check out. So let's take a look at it in action. To set up the game, give each team their color blocks and have them set up the kingdom. Pieces can go pretty much anywhere on your playmat as long as some portion of your structure is within two blocks from the edge. Then have each team place their troops out. They can go on top of the blocks or they can be on the mat as long as they're one space away from any block. Then give each player their hand of action cards and then you're ready to begin. Each turn is made up of four parts. First, you'll choose if you want to use any of your tactics. Then you'll aim your catapult or ballista if you have the siege expansion, and then you'll fire! The final phase is cleanup, where you'll remove any blocks that have been knocked off of your mat, and any troops that have been tipped over. Then it's the next player's turn. You'll keep rotating back and forth until one team has managed to knock all of the other team's troops out of the game. And that will make you the champion of, of Catapult, Catapult Kingdoms! Kingdoms. Catapult Kingdoms is a high energy dexterity game where you're trying to be the last man standing as you try to take out each other's kingdoms. Uh, we've got a prototype copy of the game which had some very cool components in it. I'm sure the final version will be even more heavy duty. Uh, we really enjoyed just playing with all the pieces and looking at all the structures and having some fun with the different castle building mechanics. Uh, what part, what did you enjoy? I enjoyed the rubber rubber ball. The rubber like, boulders? Yeah, the rubber boulders. Those are really fun, like, to shoot at the people's castles and stuff. <laughs> yep. But yeah, um, I really like all the cards that you can play. I like there's one for, you can steal someone else's card from them. You can put one of your guys back up or like you can get um, their cat catapult and shoot it right next at their base, which is really cool. And also, you can also, um, you can move the people around um, as yeah. a card, so you can like say, there's people all right there, and there's like, and they're gonna, and there's a super open space. You can like move them all to one corner. Or right. I think one of the other cards allows you to like restack some of your own yeah. blocks that have been knocked off. So there is some strategy that comes into that part of the game. Especially one of those cards allows you to like uh, be a traitor and like switch teams and use their own catapult against yeah. them on their castle, which is crazy. Which is super effective. Uh, yeah, it's it is right super effective, and it makes you think because I, I know the very first time I played it, I just built this giant wall of blocks and then stuck all my guys behind it, and I was like, good luck knocking over all these pieces. And then first card, Sarah whips out, of course, is the traitor one. So she just takes my catapult, shoots it sideways, knocks over like half of my guys. So there is actually some strat like some physical strategy in yeah. building your castle in a way that won't allow it to get tipped over. Mm -hmm. Those cards do run out pretty quick, though, in the game. And so usually by the end, you're just shooting each other's catapults at, at yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the other cards does allow you to take two shots on your turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Which is very helpful yeah, because you yeah, can actually like really adjust your aim on that. Mm -hmm. How hard was it? Harder than you thought it would be, or easier to take each other's castles out? Probably harder than yeah, I it's a little bit it's harder. It's like the bricks are like super hard for hit. Like you gotta look like a jackhammer to break them. They're pretty heavy duty bricks, and yeah. then the boulder is like a softish, rubbery one. I don't know what it'll look like in the final. It is easy to knock things over, but it is a little bit hard to aim yeah. uh, mm -hmm. because they shoot so far. Like obviously, as you saw in our B-roll shots, we had the big table out and we were shooting these things you know four or five feet at each other so it's not luck there's actual skill involved in shooting it any other yeah. thoughts yeah i really like how like you get to build your own castle which with different pieces because like if you want to use the trader card you can put walls on the sides and in the front and how many do you get 13 or 14 yeah i think 14, 14. bricks and an arch come in the base yeah. game yeah it's really fun because like you can put like one guy there and you really can't see it, depending on where you stand their other team's catapults so it's really cool to do that yep some definite placement strategy we're gonna have a playthrough video of this on our channel as well so you can check it out and see it all in action not just the nice cool b-roll shots where we 
check things out on the first shot. Uh, so be sure to check that one out. And then if it looks like a kingdom, like a Kickstarter that you might be interested in, then definitely check out Catapult Kingdoms on Kickstarter now. And then as always, thanks so much for liking, subscribing, and following along here at Tantrum House. Bye. See ya. Good Let's job. Go. I'll do this through the like, cat. I'm gonna try to stand up because my chair was my foot falls. Yeah, then I was literally standing up. We're viewing the game Catapult Kings. Dungs. What? Catapult Kingdoms. <laughs> Catapult Kings. This is what happens when you win. Shoot the rubber bullet at people's cats. In part by our Kickstarter backers and by this game. <laughs> the, hey, creators this the, creators. Game. the creators of this game. I forgot. I was I was just smiling. I was like. And by this game. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they get it right, I'm like, oh, you can't I know it. <laughs> then Liam fails, and I'm like, oh. The then, then when Dad says, I'm like, oh, I forgot. I forgot. Then you're ready to begin. Then you're ready to begin.